In today's video, I'm going to be painting a cute little squirrel. This is actually a special request that I got from a subscriber. While I do that, let's talk about reference material. Ordinarily, when I begin a painting, I like to start with a reference of some sort. This can be as simple as setting an object or person in front of you to paint from, or just setting your easel up outside and painting what you see. Another option, of course, is to work from a photograph. Working from a photograph has many advantages. The lighting conditions are fixed, and if you are working with a live model or an animal, you don't have to worry about your subject moving around or becoming fatigued. Most of the time, my reference is a photo I've taken myself. In this case, however, I didn't have a reference image of my own readily available. And I didn't think it would be very easy for me to capture a good picture of a squirrel, especially since I wanted to finish the painting in a timely manner. So, what do you do when you would like to paint something realistically, but you don't have the proper reference material? Your first instinct would probably be to Google the subject you want to paint. But you should be aware that just because an image is posted on the internet, it does not mean that it is free to use. Your default assumption should be that any given image you see online is copyright protected, and that you will need the permission of the owner to use the photo, even to make art. Luckily, however, there are some free resources available online where you can get royalty-free photographs to use as references in your art. The two sites I refer to when I don't have access to the reference material I need are pexels.com and pixabay.com. I'll include the link to those in the description box below. These are both great resources for royalty-free reference images. I got the reference photo for this painting from Pixabay and I'll include the link to that as well if you would like to check that out. This photo was completely free to use without attribution, but there is an option on both of these sites to compensate the creator if you are able to do so. But again, this is completely optional. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.